Greetings, peacekeepers, and welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Command or Ramparts Plus Mod. I am now Captain Tirak of the Heavy Battle Cruiser Injunction, a CCY, also known as a flagship cruiser. No longer are we just some sort of plebes flying around in our little heavy cruiser with delusions of grandeur. No, we are now a flagship. Unfortunately, we don't have any, like, you know, ships to support us, but that is neither here nor there. We have taken this tile, which was once a Gorn Starbase and is now ours, and and uh, two episodes ago, we managed to take 24-6, which was a great achievement for us. And now, we threaten the Gorn planet that is at 22-5. Danger to be had, for sure. So let's get out there, let's ca start causing some havoc and some damage. And begin a scouting mission. Okay, this is, um, well, scouting plus flagship cruiser does not equal really go together. We have really changed styles in sort of what we're flying at this point. You see... We come equipped with a full set of plasmatic pulsar devices, also known more commonly as the PPD. And this is a long to medium range weapon that causes havoc and destruction. And our current combat speed is 14, so a little bit of a downgrade. We have increased plasma torpedo S's, so these two should, I believe, counteract the fact that we lost one of our G-type torpedoes, and the PPD should just be, you know, cake on top of that. So our orders are to scout this light cruiser. The PPD is a really interesting weapon. It can be overloaded, it can also be underloaded, and I believe it is the only weapon in the game that can be underloaded. Uh, to fire a plasma, a PPD, we uh, target something, we shoot at it, and we shoot out like this tsunami wave of plasma. And when it hits the enemy ship, it not only hits the shield that was facing it, but also the shields on either side. So it's really great for sandpapering down shields. Uh, after the first hit, a lock-on beam hits the target as well, and every single shot after the first one that gets the lock-on will automatically hit. The closer you are, the more damage you do. However, PPDs have a minimum range. They won't fire within a range of, I want to say four, but it might be six. It will fire four shots. Now, if you overload this, like every other weapon in the game, your maximum range becomes no greater than eight but you still have the minimum range. So if you're trying to close with an enemy with a PPD active, and he gets within that range, the PPD stops firing. Not only that, the PPD on overload fires six shots instead of four shots, which means you are firing more shots, you have four points of range to shoot them in, and they deal the same amount of damage. Overloading a PPD is very, very, very hard to do. Conversely, you can also underload it. What underloading does is it allows you to only fire two shots instead of four shots. We're going to open fire. Boom. 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 It's glorious. Boom. Hit it again. And again. And again. And again. And where did his shields go? That's right. They're gone. And then we hit him with the plasma S and oh, was that not glorious. Let's uh, remember we are here to scan this guy. That's what you can do. That is everything that you do. And that is what makes the ISC, once we get into PPDs, some real scary guys. Because we just hit him with eight shots from that PPD. And we didn't do tremendous amounts of damage with it, but it was relentless damage. And there was no survival from that. I quite like it. Combine it with the S-type torpedoes, I think this is going to be a really good ship for us. <laughs> Look at that! That was glorious. There can be a no, no other word for it. Yes, we are a command flagship. Tremble, mortals, and despair. For the injunction has come to injunction you? I'm not quite sure how we're going to mess that one. Mission! It's another patrol. Excellent. And maybe we'll capture the planet as well. And more planets means more money, means more ships. That's what we want. And it's a pirate planet. Syndicate held. Increase speed up to our speed of 14, which means we'll only be able to do a speed of 13 while charging one of our wild weasels. But I don't think the Syndicate is going to have a uh, going to have a huge plasma torpedo presence. I think the Syndicate is missiles and disruptors, which is very Mirac when you think about it. Once again, the glorious HD backgrounds. Oh, so good. They make the game so much better, and it's such a small change, and you didn't know you needed, but you do. Link, of course, in the description below, because it adds so much beauty. We have our target. It is a heavy cruiser at maximum range. Wonderful. 
let's turn to face the target. The other cool thing about our PPDs is they don't take nearly as long to charge as our plasma torpedoes, so we can fire these at a much more rapid rate. Now I'm trying to remember if PPDs require you to spend less time charging or take less time to load if you put them on underload, and I shall consult the Big Book of Armaments in between episodes, because I'm sure it will tell me, unless they change it for Orion Pirates Plus mod, but I highly doubt that they did that. Let's fire a probe at maximum range, see what he's got. Well, not maximum range, he's close to range 70 by now. That's hardly maximum range for a probe at all. Let's see what he's got. Shields, according to the probe, excellently well spotted. So let's see what else we've got. He's got a photon torpedo and a single missile launcher, and then a whole bunch of phasers. This is wonderful. I am just so very happy that this is the threat we have to work with. Let's reinforce all. Well, reinforce the forward, not reinforce all. We don't need all. And this time we're going to fire our PPDs in concert together instead of in sequence. Although, you know, I guess it did sort of increase the amount of damage that we were doing. I want to do that again, probably. Here comes the torpedo. It missed completely. Not a danger to us whatsoever as we come in slowly. Target closes to range 23, 21, 20, 19. We'll fire at range 13. And... Open fire! Targeting beam is on. One, two, three. Targeting beam on. Torpedo away. All up in selects. Boom. Another big blast. It's the carrot, spelled with a K, because he's edgy, yo. And yeah, look at what we just did to this guy. This poor, poor pirate didn't stand a chance. This is a heavy cruiser, too. And uh, he's just totally outclassed. See, the PPD isn't necessarily hitting his hull. It doesn't have to. What the PPD is doing is annihilating his shields. So suddenly he's got to maneuver against that. And then we come in with, you know, the eight phaser ones. And our wonderful point defense phaser threes just taking out his missile armament. This is also obviously a rather old ship. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking when they designed this. It's clearly not suited for much combat at all. And we are going to have to build in some range. Our PPDs are about to come online. And uh, we can't shoot them from this close. No sorry. So we will get some range, and we will also prepare our high energy turn. At 100%, this flagship has quite a bit of firepower, but at the same time, much versatility. I'm liking it. I'm really, really liking it. I'm really kind of feeling like we're turning a corner in this. PPDs selected. Fire together! Boom. 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 Oh, it's so good. It's so beautiful. Just all of those systems just taken offline. And now we will close in to end this piracy life. Okay, we're going to have to wait a little while to do that. Plasma Torpedo S, please. All stop. All stop. Never mind. The uh, the Phase 3s, they've got your back. Phase 3s, excellent weapon for all sorts of things. If they're Phaser Gs, they're even better. And these Phaser 3s are almost Phaser Gs. I mean, not quite, but we're dealing one... Because uh, we've got three shots from him, and a Phaser G does essentially four Phaser 3 shots. We were not able to take the planet. Not a big deal, quite frankly. Let's continue on these missions. Another scout. That'll be perfectly fine. We must be careful not to annihilate our target on the first pass before we get a chance to scan them. Ooh, relatively close. It's a freighter. Really? That's, that's our target? A freighter. We are the Injunction. We are a grand, heavy battle cruiser. We are a flagship. There's a reason why there's a Y in our name. Why? Actually, no, that's a good point. Why is it a Y? Because Klingons use... Klingons use L, but Klingons also use... What is it? R? Something. Doesn't matter. We are a CC Y. Why? Because we gotta. Something like that. We'll come up with a good joke at some point for that, although I'm not particularly funny. So let's buff up the forward shield because we want to. He's a freighter, so... His horrific plasma torpedo armament is so terrifying, I must prepare all the wild weasels. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that at all. Uh, but we do have our phasers finished charging, so we will now go into here, prep the deep scan, because we want to make sure that when we get up to him, we scan him super quick. We are going to fire our, our uh, PPDs at him, like right off the bat, 
because, well, if we do that to him, then he'll have no shields. And I quite frankly don't think the PPDs will kill him. The plasma S torpedoes very well might, but the PPD probably not. Especially if we fired at longer range. So we will prepare the targeting beams. Now, PPDs can be defeated in a couple of ways. One, if you go with a minimum range, they stop working. Two, if you get beyond maximum range, they stop working. And three, if you gain a defense shift. So I think dropping a wild weasel counts for that. But if you gain a defense shift, the uh, PPD has to reacquire a target. There we go. So we missed on the first one, and the targeting we had to reacquire. Okay, we've got him. <laughs> that was it. We scanned him, we got him, we opened fire, he's dead. So the target gains a defense shift, the PPD has to reacquire the target, which means it can miss. So, ideally you want your PPD to hit on the first one, because then every single shot afterwards will hit two. And that's great. Uh, less than ideally? Well, you'll get it soon. Um, let's see the planetary result. Because we have PPDs. Yes, PPDs, the solution to everything. All of your problems can be solved by PPD. Red alert! We are supported by the Death Beast, which is a pretty heavy Gorn cruiser. Wow! One, two plasma Fs, two plasma Ss. He's got four plasma torpedoes ready to rock. And this clearly is a Civil War situation. Because uh, we've got a heavy cruiser facing us down. It is a CMF. I have no idea what that stands for, because Gorn, well, they don't make sense. They make more sense than the Klingons, I'll grant them that much, but uh, they don't make sense. So, increasing speed up to 13, because that's when we can charge a Wild Weasel. And phase capacitor is fully charged, giving us a ton of power to work with. Let's launch a probe now and see what we're dealing with. See the kind of threat we have to face. So, Heavy Cruiser, range 83, CMF. Yes. Let's see, shields, yes, as we know. Two Plasma S torpedoes. Hmm. And white forward shields. So if he reinforces the forward shields only, that works perfectly fine for us because we'll still sandpaper down his sides with the PPD. We just may not bust through the front. Let's see what that Gorn ship is doing in terms of speed. He's doing 19.1. So a rather nice speed right there. He's going to hopefully outstrip us, get in there first, and fight his countrymen uh, without us. That would be our preference, most certainly. Let's get on the reinforcement. I want a forward shield up to maximum reinforcement. That way that the power system fills it in whenever it has a chance. Our plasma S torpedoes are ready to rock. We will now select the primary PPDs and get ready for the carnage. We, of course, are ready for another Wild Weasel prep, and let's prep that right now. Select hardpoint one. No, that's wrong. These. Oh, I guess that's right. Okay, so we have PPDs on the brain. We will fire at a range of 15 to make sure that our firing is complete by the time the Plasma Torpedo S is fired. 16, 15, fire! Fire an S-type torpedo to join in on the fray. So we've caused quite a bit of pain there. Let's slow down now, and let's... Dump a weasel! Oh, crap, we lost the... Uh... Oh, he dumped a weasel, too! Ah, that works! Second, fire your other torpedo! And his torpedo. This will be beautiful. Boom! His forward shields are down. He's got now got four more plasma torpedoes coming in, and they just ripped into him. He's having a bad day. Only focused on us when he should have been paying attention to the whole battle space. But what else can you expect from the child races? How can they be expected to know better? And that is going to not hurt him much at all. It will cause a little bit of damage to his rear shields but not very much concerning. Our second sensor decoy is ready to go. We can increase speed now, and we are on his tail with about to have eight torpedo or eight phasers ready to go, ripping into him, peeling him open like an onion or an apple, or take your pick on fruit. We'll pull away from him so we can bring our PPDs to bear again, build in some distance. Was his name the Protector? Oh, please tell me his name was the Protector. That that would just be too perfect for this mission. But PPD is selected. Target on. Fire. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at him trailing all sorts of damage. Oh, it's all so badly damaged. 
And I would save right on the front. It was a fake. It's a fake! And now he's dead. On to the planet! Yes. Let us probe the planet so we see what it's got. Hopefully this will be a completely unarmed planet, but I'm going to take a guess and say that it's got quite a few phaser fours. Oh no, it's a PLPH-3. So maybe not. Maybe this is a totally undefended planet. It has shields. And no, this is a pretty heavily defended planet. Oh crap. This is like an oh crap level defended planet. Four plasma S's. Tons of phaser Y's. Or phaser fours. They look like Y's, what can I tell you? So closing in, we will close into um, a range of 20, and then we will slowly creep in. And at a range of 20, we will start firing our weaponry at long range. PPDs were designed for long range combat, so I'm going to take that as a good thing. Range of 50, and closing. And you know, if this Gorn ship fires one volley of plasma torpedoes into the planet, that's great for us. Because it means they'll probably open up a hole on the planet, and planets can't turn, unlike, st uh, much of a call it's... Yep. Slow down time, back to normal speed. Actually, no, increase... Planets can't turn, unlike shipyards, which are annoying. Speed of 17, speed of 16, just beyond the speed of 15, slowing down very, very slowly, and stop. Olivens fire! Look at that. We've already got holes. Excellent. Now it is simply a matter of time until he succumbs to our firepower. See? Remember how hard this was the last time when we tried it with just plasma torpedoes? Look how much easier it has it become. And do you know why? PPD. Thank you, PPD, for saving our lives. Look at how much damage it deals. Actually, it doesn't deal a ton of damage from this range. Oh, he's got incoming plasma torpedoes. Let's slow down time so we can admire just how well our forward shields are going to bounce this. If they bounce it. Oh, it's out of range. Ha ha ha. Firing weapons at maximum rate. Continue to rip through him. Like a knife through butter. He's got 28 marines on board, so this could take a little bit while of just annihilation bombardments. Yeah, they're dealing 3 damage from this range, but that's fine. It's not quite as much as a uh, photon torpedo would with proximity mode, but hey, any little bit counts. And he is not able to break through our forward shields. Excellent. And we will again accept this on the nose. And he hasn't managed to break open a hole on his own. He's trying. Bless his little soul. I'm still not quite sure how this is working. I don't know if this is a bug, maybe? Where it keeps giving us Gorn ships to fight Gorn races? Because I kind of get the feeling that shouldn't be a thing. Now, maybe it's, maybe it's canical, canonical, maybe it's historical. I should probably check the source material on that. But it just seems wrong. More S-type plasma torpedoes entering that fray. We're not dealing a ton of damage with the S-type torpedoes from this range, but it's enough damage. And that's what counts. Letting the PPD do its monstrous damage. Well, not monstrous, but it's it's fun to watch it do the damage. In some ways, it reminds me of a Hellbore. I mean, it's not, because the Hellbore is even more deadly, because it goes around to the weakest shield. But, you know, you get that idea, that feeling that you, uh, you're you overcoming the reinforcement game. Which is a great feeling. Because they can try and, you know, force up maximum shields like we are to the front, but you don't care. Because you can hit either side shield, which... Which is wonderful, which is brilliant, and I'm absolutely in love with this weapon. I gotta admit, throughout most of this camp, this uh, season so far, I've been like, I really don't feel like I've got a huge advantage here. I really kind of feel like things are a bit edgy, but now that I've got this weapon, I feel so much more confident in being able to deal this. So let's start getting in there, getting a little bit closer. He's down to four marines. I'm going to assume his weapons are pretty much mostly offline. All weapons continue to fire at maximum rate. He's down to two. We're going to close. Let our PPDs get on there for just a little bit more damage. Of course, I think the minimum number that we can get them down to just by shooting them is two. So uh, we are closing seven. Six. Almost to five. Beam them over and all stuff. We don't want to accidentally smash into the planet like we almost did that one time. So beamed over four. And now we just sit here and wait. 
The planet will be ours, I am sure of it. This will be our tile. There can be no doubt of that. We've managed to shoot off all the Marines, now let's just take the planet itself. Almost there. And... There we go. Planet is ours. Well fought all around. And thanks to the support of that, uh, that Gorn ship, that medium cruiser. He really did help us wipe out that, uh, defender. Because the Defender t dumped his Wild Weasel for our one torpedo, and then it wasn't there for the five more that were coming in. We didn't take it. We didn't take it! But anyway, that's been an episode right there, the injunction proving that it is almost indomitable. So, we are currently threatening the planet that is located right here at 22.5. We're now looking at another station that is here at 23.3. So we're doing pretty darn well. All things considered, we have a line almost direct to cut them off from their Federation support. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. Anyway, I've been Tirak. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me the greatest injunction joke that you can possibly think of, if you can think of one. Probably is going to be an episode one pun. But in any event, if you like what you're seeing, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next episode.